Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal demo comparison for you. This time it is the Barefoot FX Dyna Red Distortion 3 knob version versus the 4 knob version. I'm going to be using my Gibson ES335 in, in my Matchless Lightning 15 watt amplifier into its 112 speaker cabinet, mic'd with a Sennheiser E906, and here is my clean tone. <laughs> Here is the three knob. <laughs> So what we have here in both of these pedals are two really great distortion boxes that offer the classic British rock tones, Marshall, Plexi, JTM kind of sound. Um, both are very touch responsive, uh, dynamic pedals, and um, really the easiest way to explain the difference between these two pedals is to say that this four knob version is more. Not only does it have another knob, it has more controls and it can also uh, enable you to have a bit more distortion. So very quickly here we have tone, volume and distortion. We have volume distortion, then we have a treble knob, and then we have a mid control knob. And uh, easiest kind of way to say, tone knob here, and then here we kind of split that tonal control and put part of it before the distortion and part of it after. So this is a treble control, and this comes after the distortion part of the circuit, adds in uh, the treble. And uh, then the mid control um, adds kind of low mid kind of into the distortion part of the circuit, therefore increasing the saturation and uh, harmonics of the distortion. So I'm going to back off on that now. I'm going to play a little bit more, and then we will crank that mid control on the four knob, and you'll be able to see and hear some of the differences between these two pedals. And here is the three knob. <laughs> the four knob and now let's crank that mid control and um, you will hear a difference um, now So, as you can hear, there is a difference when you crank that knob. Now, what I want to do is I want to do the same thing, but I want to increase the distortion knob on both of these circuits. And um, I find it just gives a really pleasant amp-like uh, gain sounds. And um, so we'll back that off and then give you um, the sort of... You'll, you'll hear a little bit more when I crank this now how it feeds into that circuit um, with the drive knob up a little bit higher. <laughs> And now the four knob. <laughs> Now we will crank that mid control again, and this is sort of mid low end that will be more predominant in this pedal now. And here we go again. <laughs> So 
as you can hear, um, really nice to be able to have that control. So I'm going to back that off now. I'm going to increase the treble control on this circuit, and I'm just going to push the tone control up a little bit to be a little bit brighter. And um, we should um, now, we'll back this off actually a little bit more, and we'll be able to hear a little bit of a difference in the kind of tone that you can get with the pedals. Um, so here we go again. <laughs> So that's kind of with the mids kind of cut out of there. And let's boost them here now. And we'll, we'll do the same thing again. So that's it, everybody. We have two fabulous distortion boxes here from Barefoot Effects. The Dyna Red Distortion 4-knob and 3-knob. Both are great. One kind of offers a little bit more, um, and you may or may not want that control. Some people prefer 3-knobs for simplicity. Some want more control. And you have uh, both the options in this great pedal from Barefoot Effects. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you like. Dislike if you absolutely must. Please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate all the likes, comments, and views, and have a great day. Take care. Bye.